Hello friends. We are going to read one of my favorite stories today. This is The Mitten. It is a folk tale, which means it's a story that's been passed down by word of mouth for many, many years, like a campfire story, so to say. And this particular version was retold or adapted and illustrated, which means the pictures were drawn by the same person, Jan Brett, one of my favorite author illustrators. This is a Ukrainian folktale. So this means it came from Ukraine, which is a country in Europe. This is dedicated to Sylvia, I'm sorry, Sylvia Kyle, Ruth Ann Johnson, Rebecca Lim, and Tad Beagley. See all the beautiful drawings here. Don't want you to miss out on anything. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. You can see Grandma has a ball of the wool and she has her knitting machine. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. Baba's another word for grandmother. So, like, you might call your grandma Mimi, Nana, Mum Mum. Baba is a Ukrainian form of saying grandma. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you see the snow white mitten? very hard to see because it is snow white right there see he has the other one in his p pocket right there but the other one fell out a mole tired from tunneling along discovered the mitten and burrowed inside it it was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Burrow means snuggle in. You see the mm, this over here. You see the mole scurrying into the mitten. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It's his fur. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in it feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So that snow white mitten that Nikki was supposed to take care of now has a mole and a snowshoe rabbit staying inside. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. <laughs> Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for something to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. That is one stretchy glove. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Can you see who's coming next? Up 
through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Who's coming next? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A wa waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Look how big that little snow white mitten has gotten because it's getting so stretched out. And look who's coming next. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast, which means it stayed nice and tight. It was not going to break. Who's coming next? Along came a meadow mouse no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the bear's nose. Uh-oh. Looks like Nicky noticed he's missing a mitten. The bear tickled by the mouse's whiskers gave an enormous ah sneeze. the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch a snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. This was the mitten that was in his pocket, and this is the mitten that the animals hibernated in. How silly. Thanks for joining me.